Hey, what's going on everybody? Good morning, Josh from EverydayFBA.com. Doing something a little different here. We got the live stream going and I'm also streaming my screen to you guys. This is the first time I've ever done this. I was practicing a little bit last night, testing it out. So give me a little bit of feedback, guys. There is some lag time. Uh, so just let me know that everything is looking good. Let me know that uh, you can see my screen, that uh, the sound is good because I have no idea if this is, <laughs> if this is working or not. Uh, so yeah, guys, we are in inventory lab and we're going to do a little bit of listing and pricing right here, uh, right here live in front of you. I got some DVDs here to go ahead and uh, list. I got to get sent in. So I figured why not go ahead and share my screen with you guys for anyone that doesn't know what inventory lab is. You can get a little behind the scenes look at it. So inventory lab is the, the software that probably thousands and hundreds of thousands of people actually use all those Amazon sellers. Hey, thanks, Eric. Let me know. All right. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so yeah, Inventory Lab is an all-in-one software. It has all your Amazon numbers in it. It takes care of your accounting, your uh, FBA sales, your expenses, your buy costs, your fees, even your like your mileage and those other expenses that you have to, you know, the supplies and all that stuff goes into uh, Inventory Lab. It pulls all that information from your Amazon seller account. So it's really, really useful, especially around this time tax time, you definitely need something like this because it makes everything so much easier to just generate those reports. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do a little bit of live listing. I've got some DVDs here. Let's go ahead and uh, kick it off, I guess. So I'm using this little Inatech barcode scanner and I've got an item here, a DVD. We're just going to hit it. Let me make sure I'm set here. I've already created the uh, shipment batch. I would have showed you guys that part of it but it's got my address in it, so I don't need any stalkers, so I had to skip that. So I just hit this with the barcode. It's gonna pull up that item, and we can start looking at the information that it gives us. So here you go, we got this uh, Blu-ray DVD, rank 17,000 in DVD, an excellent rank for DVD. And then you can go in and start filling in this information here. The reminder and the reminder message. This is not something that I typically use. I think this is really more useful for people that are doing grocery items and items with expiration dates because you don't want those items to be in inventory past a certain point. You want to pull those or destroy those. So that's what that's for. Like I said, I don't use it because I don't need it. Then you got the tax code. Agent tax is what I use because all my stuff is taxed. Battery, no. Regulated, no, and then you get into the quantity, the cost, when you purchased it, expiration date, again, if you're doing something like a grocery item, and your supplier. So we only have one of these, so we're just gonna have one. By cost, I do my average, 250. And then purchased, we'll put today. And then the supplier, you can put what you want. You can get really specific with the supplier if you want. I kind of just do a generalization of it, so I just put thrifts. Not a big deal. I'm not too worried about it. If I'm taking in product from another person or if I have someone that's sourcing from me, I'll definitely put their, their name in here so I can keep track of that because I'm going to have to end up you know, paying them a commission or I want to make sure who those top performers are that are going out there and sourcing for me. Down here, we got the shipping rate, 11 cents for this item. I use 60 cents a pound. It's kind of high, but you know, it kind of gives you a little bit of buffer. So that's what I like to do. And then you get the SKU here. Uh, Inventory Lab generates a SKU for you, but you can go through here and add a custom SKU. Again, if you have someone going out there sourcing for you or you're taking in products or books or whatever it is and you're paying people a commission for it, this is how you're gonna keep track of if those products are selling and if you owe them money, right? So you can come in here and create a custom SKU if you like. It's something I did in the very beginning when I first started. It's not really something that I do a lot now. So I just kind of leave it as is. And then you can choose your condition. Lots of different conditions here for you to choose, but I'm gonna go with good because I use good most of the time. What's up, Midnight Train Bullies? She is actually in my, uh, my YouTube group, so shout out. Appreciate you for being in that group. So here we go. We got uh, the offers on this side here. We got the new offers. These are the new uh, Merchant Fulfilled offers. Then you have the used Merchant Fulfilled offers. Then you have the FBA offers, both uh, used and new. So you can go through here and you kind of select whatever price you want. If you want to price it like a new, you can hit that button. It's going to put that number right here and tell you what that profit is right down here. Of course, this is a used item. I don't want to sell it as new. Uh, so we're going to decide what we're going to price here. 
This is the lowest merchant fulfilled. This is the lowest FBA offer. I am an FBA seller. So if I match this price, I'm gonna get $18.65 profit on this item. So that's a little bit of pricing. We'll go and we'll look at the listing here in a little bit of a minute. But if you go down here as well, you can look at some other options to give you a little bit more information about this product. So this is Book Scouter. Obviously, it's not a book, but if you click this button, it'll give you a rundown of that book. It'll search for that ISBN of that book and give you the pricing information for it, let you know if anybody wants to buy it and what prices they're willing to pay for it. The next one is eBay. You can click on that. It's gonna find this item on eBay for you. This can be useful if you find a particular item that is has a good profit. You can look through eBay for that same item, see if you can find it at a lower cost, buy it and flip it, do a little arbitrage with eBay that way. Same uh, with Google. Again, you can hit that button as well and look to see if you can find this item for sale at a lower price and look for possible arbitrage opportunities. Then you got Camel, 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 which is going to give you a little bit of the history of this item. They don't show you sales rank, but they do show you the pricing. So you can go down here and you can look at the pricing history. We are third party used sellers. So current 1983, highest was $71, lowest was seven bucks, but on average it's $24. So just a little bit of history there for you if you need that. And then you got the prime button, okay? So once you hit this button, it's gonna pull up the prime offers for FBA. Let's just give it a minute here and we'll look. So here we go. We got $29.97 is the first prime offer, just like Inventory Lab said, $29.97. And it is used like new condition, and then it goes into new condition at $39.99, just like inventory lab set so it pulled the information for us but sometimes it's good to look at the listing anyways just to get a, a good eye on what those prices actually are and make sure that inventory lab is showing you uh, the right information so now at this point like we really just have to decide like where are we going to price it i mean for this item for me to use item it sells very well i'm going to be listing it in good condition this person has it in like new condition i could really just come in and match that offer just match it and make that 1865 in profit. Or I could match the lowest use offer overall and compete with merchant fulfilled offers and probably get to sell a lot faster, but I would make a little bit less profit, 1339 in profit there. What I think I'm gonna do for this item, since I'm listing in good condition, what I'll do is I'll match this offer here, 2749. I think this is a good middle ground. It's gonna beat that FBA offer, but it's higher than the lowest merchant fulfilled used offer. So it gives me a little bit more of that prime bump profit, right? That's what we want. 1655 in profit is what I'll make on this item. And then I'll hit this item, add to batch. Once you're set, you got all your information put in here. Once you got your price set, just hit add to batch. So we'll do that and we're good to go. The Dymo printer is gonna spit out that label. We'll take it and attach it and uh, that one will be ready to ship off into Amazon. So let's go ahead and let's do a couple more here. Again, I got the scanner, got the item, hit that barcode on the back. Something's going on with the stream, guys. I don't know if it looks good or not anymore. It says, error, YouTube is not receiving enough video. I don't know. We're going to keep rolling, though, guys. Hope this is working good. <laughs> all right, so ZZ Top, rank 93,000. Again, you got all this information that you can fill out for this. I'm just going to go good condition. I'm not going to create a custom SKU. But look at the pricing over here. You got used offers at 59.94, FBA at 74.98 new. Uh, so again, you can decide what you want to do with this. We can look at the prime offers. And yeah, you got these three sellers here. Hold on a second. Got some bad lag here, guys. All right, so we got the three new offers. They're all priced at the same. Obviously, my item is not new. I need to price a little lower. I don't necessarily want to match the lowest FBA offer because this item still sells pretty well. 93,000 rank is still pretty good. Hey, thanks, Tiff. I appreciate that. All right, so, um, so we can go 59.94 if we want. We'll match that uh, merchant fulfilled offer. And again, you're going to get a faster sell uh, by doing that, but we are prime. So I want to bump it up just a little bit. I don't really want to do it too much though. Uh, so let's go maybe 65. 
Still pretty p competitive, I think. Um, people can get this new for 75. I'm gonna come in $10 less for someone that wants to save a little bit of money. Uh, but if they really want to save money, then they'll go for that Merchant Fulfilled offer. But again, my item will be delivered in two days or less. Uh, Merchant Fulfilled sellers will not. So if we're set there, we're all looking good. We're just gonna hit Add to Batch once again. Dymo Printer will spit that out. And we'll move on to the next one. So the next one's gonna be a little bit interesting because this is actually a return item. So let me show you what that looks like. So if you had this item in uh, existing inventory before and you either recalled it or it got returned or whatever, this is what happens because Inventory Lab already knows that you've had this in your uh, inventory before. So it's gonna pull up that same listing and then you have some options to decide what you wanna do. You can uh, delete the SKU and create a new one you can ignore it and create a new one, or you can replenish the same one. What I usually do is just hit delete matching SKU and create new. I just wanna just start fresh and brand new. So I'll do that. And then boom, you're back in business here. So the best of court TDV, 175,000 rank, a little bit higher you know, in DVD, but still it's a good rank. Again, you can go through here, fill out this information, fill out your condition, fill out your custom SKU if you want. But here is the pricing, $69.34 in good condition, $71 FBA. And if you look at the prime offers again, we'll see what else, match. make sure it's all matching up pretty good. So yeah, $71 prime is what this person has it for. There's not a big discrepancy between the $69.34 and the $71. Uh, so I'm likely just to go ahead and match that low uh, FBA offer, the only FBA offer on it. I could price a little bit higher than that person, maybe 75, maybe 80, wait it out, wait for that next sell. But uh, at this rank, I don't think it's really worth it. We can actually go and look at the uh, sales velocity of it. So I'm going to go to the front listing, the, the page, the front page of the listing. And we're gonna look at Helium 10 and see what kind of information they can give us. So you can see right here, there is no sales on this item in the last 30 days. That's that purple line that you see here. But if we go over the 90 days, let's look for some sales. Here they are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six sales in the last 90 days. This item does not sell a lot, but it does sell. The, uh, the thing that we have to determine now is the pricing. And unfortunately, you don't get used pricing with Helium 10, but you do with Keepa. So scroll down here to Keepa, and this black line is that used pricing. You can try to sync these two up. So this is 90 days. We're looking at three months here. We try to sync up the sales, November, December, November, December. So this thing was selling pretty good at 13, 12, 11, 12, and maybe up to $26 in price. Those were those where the, where the sales came from right here. That's that time period. Here's where the sales came from. And here is where that pricing generally was for the used offer. But again, uh, Keepa is going for the lowest offer. So these are merchant fulfilled offers, not necessarily uh, offers that are FBA. So I don't know, kind of conflicted on this one, but we're not gonna rock the boat on it. We're not gonna drop the price down low to 25 or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and match the 71 and see if we can't go ahead and catch that sale on that next time that uh, someone looks at it. Uh, if you wanted to try and get a, another, a, a faster sale, you could price it a little bit lower, but um, for the purpose of this, I'm not gonna drop the price because I don't wanna piss off this guy, <laughs> all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and match it and then we'll add it to batch. And that's pretty much it for a listing. I've got some more stuff here that I need to list, but I'm not gonna sit here and show you guys everything. Uh, but after you get things listed, what you're gonna do is go down here. Uh, we'll, we'll look at this here. So total SKUs, three, total items, three. Average sales rank of these three items, 95,000, which is a good average sales rank. Total sales value, $163.49. Total buy cost, $7.50. And the profit, $115.77. If these items sell for the price that uh, we initially set, now they won't all sell for that price. Uh, items don't just sell for the price you set unless you know you're willing to keep them at that price for as long as possible in order to get that price. 
But after a month or so, I'll reevaluate the pricing, I'll reevaluate the competition, and then I'll go ahead and reprice. But that's all good there. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit review batch. And it's just going to, again, show you what you just did. So if you want to make any adjustments, you can go ahead and look at the numbers again, make sure you're all good. And then you're going to submit. Now, I'm, I'm going to stop it here because I don't want to continue on with this batch. I don't want to actually create the shipment for Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. But uh, if you were to go ahead and complete the shipment, you would just go ahead and hit sync. Uh, make sure that your product feed is on. This is going to send those listings over to Amazon and create those listings for you. And then this checked box is going to create that shipment for you. Now, once you hit sync, it's going to create that shipment. And you want to make sure that, that you're really, really ready to actually create that shipment before you hit this button. Because uh, Amazon does not like it when you start to delete shipments. <laughs> All right. So make sure that you do that. Hit sync and you'll be good to go. So that's it, man. That's the basics of uh, listing with Inventory Lab. It's really, really easy. Uh, anyone can do it. And, you know, if you're an Amazon seller, I really do suggest that you get it. Let's just check another one real quick. Let's see what the time. How long have we been doing this? 633 Squadron, 29,000 rank, very good rank. The pricing, 617 is the lowest F, uh, merchant fulfilled offer. 1542 is the FBA offer. Not a lot of profit in this one, but you can match the lowest FBA and get back that 625 in profit. So I know that there's a little bit of lag here, guys, but if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the stream. If not, I'm going to peace out of here. I know there's a lag, so I'll hang on just for a little bit. I'll be going on for about 16 minutes now. Shout out everyone that is watching this, everyone that's in the chat. I appreciate you guys for being here. Do me a favor, hit that like button and let me know that this actually is working and that uh, you guys like the live stream because this is the first time that I've done it. So it's pretty cool. I'll try to get some more things done and some more tutorials for you guys here pretty soon. All right, guys, uh, I know there's a lag, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I feel weird just standing here waiting. So, all right. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. If you want to get Inventory Lab, you want to check it out, there's a 30-day uh, free trial link in the description. Check that out and grab it because Inventory Lab is one great, great software. I've been using it almost the entirety of my three years of selling on Amazon, and it's highly recommended. So I'll catch you guys on that next live, on that next stream. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Bye.